Now that we have our grid drawn, the next step is going to be starting to fill in our eye. So we have this reference picture. The reference picture already has the grid on it. You'll also notice this reference picture is posturized. That means it's broken up into areas of highlights, medium tones, and shadows. So it's very important to outline around each of these sections. Think of it kind of like a paint by number. So you have these larger shapes to then fill in with paint once we have our eye drawn. So I'm looking at this reference picture the entire time. And now I have my grid drawing, which lines up with my reference picture so that my um, reference picture and grid are both five inches by seven inches. So to get started with this, I'm gonna be working box by box. So super important to make sure that you're always working in the same box that you're looking at on your reference picture. If it helps to cut out a little square in a piece of paper that's one inch by one inch, you can hold that up on your reference picture and hold it up on your drawing so you're just focused on that one square at a time. But I'm gonna pick a square to get started with. So I'm gonna be looking at the eyebrow first in my reference picture. So looking at the eyebrow here in my reference picture, I'm gonna count and just double check to make sure which square I'm in. So I'm gonna start in the second square down and the first one on the left here. So I'm gonna be drawing everything in just this one square. So I'm focused on that one square first. So again, that was the second box down and the first row here. So there was just a simple little shape in that box, which makes it super easy to follow, just the start of the eyebrow. And from here, I'm just gonna move on to the next box that is next to it. So I'm gonna continue and look at how there's this little white corner here. And then underneath the eyebrow, this kind of just splits the box in half. So super easy again. And then in this box, and let me show you the reference picture. So again, I'm focused on this box right here. In this box, there's this little area of black. So I need to make sure I'm including all details. So I do need to include this little outline of black. So I'm gonna shift back to my drawing and make sure that I have that outlined. Now, some of you might find it easier as you go, especially when you get to your final portrait, to kind of label what color some of these sections are. So I could add a B so that I know that that's black, a G here so I know that that's gray as I'm starting to add my paint. Again, it's similar to that color by number. However, for a more simple drawing like this, with just being focused on the eye, you don't really have to worry about labeling, but if that's your thing, if that helps, go for it. So then I'm just gonna continue working box by box. I'm only looking at, like I said, one box at a time and not worrying about the rest of my drawing. So I'm just looking at this one box. This black outline continues and I'm drawing all of those little edges of how that kind of waves down a little bit. And then um, moving down, there's a little bit of the gray eye underneath here in this box as well. So I'm gonna add that. It actually extends into this one here that we missed before. And then there's a little bit of the black that comes up and around. So I'm just taking my time continuing to work through this. Um, box by box, getting everything filled in. So now I'm just moving over. Again, every once in a while, just double check that you're in the correct box. So I'm working in the one, two, three, fourth box over and the second one down. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm in my correct box here. So one, two, three, fourth one over, second one down. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, stop here. The rest of the video is gonna be a time lapse. So definitely watch that so you can see the rest of this eye being drawn.